It seems as if youth sports are becoming more specialized, and with AAU practices cutting into high school practices, the three-sport athlete is nearing extinction. So I met with athletes within our three school districts to find out their opinions on specialization in sports. I've noticed that over like recently, like last year. Some continue to play two, but I haven't seen very many three-sport athletes. Hockey is my main sport, and then I play tennis just as like an off-season sport. I think it's a good thing to do it because you use all your muscles and you don't wear down as easy, and I don't know, it keeps you out of trouble too. I feel like playing multiple sports will make me a better athlete. Um, it, it definitely helps you um, in all your attributes. A lot of kids are playing one these days. Uh, I think they just want to, I don't know, I guess really fo like focus on their, on their game just in one sport, and I think they should just go out and just experience high school and have fun. I just venture out and play other sports. It's helped me a lot. Three sport athletes is a huge value. It's a huge part of being part of the school. Um, and studies are showing now that playing one sport year round is not necessarily good for you. Their body kind of needs a little break from all the volleyball that it's putting it through. They're putting a lot of stress on their shoulders, their backs, their knees, their feet. It's just of all that overuse. You know, anything they can do in the off season, playing another activity, it, it teaches them a lot about you know high pressure situations in different sports. Which is encouraged, I think, at Spring Lake Park is for them to participate in as many athletics as they feel that they want to participate in. But for some sports, like soccer and volleyball, specialization is advantageous. I get a lot more reps in throughout the year, which makes me stronger for high school. And then through high school, then I'm stronger for club season. I kind of decided to specialize in volleyball just because it was a really big time commitment and I'd be really sore after both practices so I just need a break. So I feel like I'm a lot stronger volleyball player ever since I just play one sport. Getting that like mental game too, just having all those reps in and um, really getting a lot of touches on the ball. It used to be you'd see the players playing club ball were the ones that wanted to go and play in college. They were the ones that were playing club and now you're it's gotten to the point where you, you got to play club in order to get on your, your high school team. You know, you can tell a difference on even at our freshman level team, our B squad, who's played club and who hasn't. I do see it in soccer where girls are now, especially in high school, are deciding on one sport. It's a lot more of a commitment for soccer where you're traveling all the time for that. Where hockey, you can be like in a different sport in the fall and do stuff on the weekends for hockey and stuff. If they're going to go Division One in college, I think it needs to be a little bit more specialized to that one sport. Um, just because D1 is so heavy on that sport and so much pressure. So why not specialize in your favorite sport then? Well, these athletes believe their off-season sport conditions them to play the next season and even beyond in college. I think playing multiple sports actually helps you more. I'm a catcher in baseball, so it's good to have a quick feet and in football, cornerback quick feet is key and stuff. That's helped me improve my hockey game, I'd say. Especially since I'm a goalie in both soccer and hockey, I have found like my hand-eye for soccer improved a lot because I'm used to catching something so much smaller in hockey. And the leadership abilities that they've learned through hockey is now part of our football team. Colleges look to play like play multiple sports and then like just being part of like another team like just helps like your social skills. I think it's better to do three because you get the experience that you're never going to get ever again. Or even any other activity in the building, just kids that are involved in other things is what we want. Uh, it helps create better well-rounded people just in general uh, when they leave the walls of the high school and I think they're more competitive in the workplace down the road too. While it's clear that specialization can help in some sports, coaches would rather have their students more involved throughout their high school communities. In closing, I asked each athlete if they want their future children to play multiple sports. And with a big smile on their face, each answered, only if it makes them happy.